So active surveillance is the uh, principle where we can watch and closely observe a tumor with periodic imaging to continue to assess the size of the tumor and potential development of any maybe local symptoms. We do know that active surveillance is incredibly safe. Most of our small tumors were incidentally found when they were asymptomatic. So if you happen to get imaged from an, a, a, a different type of you know, problem uh, and you were accidentally found with a tumor, uh, that does not mean you found something maybe early. That could have been there statistically for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So the potential you know, rush to uh, do treatment is not always in the patient's best interest. Sometimes you can just take a step back. You can say we're going to follow it and understand the natural history of this. And if you repeat imaging at four to six months, largely these tumors are un changed okay now when we try to put a patient on an active surveillance approach especially those who are older those who potentially have some other comorbidities where surgery would have some increased risk such as medical complications um, we know that the outcomes are outstanding at five years we know that a very very few maybe one or two percent of patients left untreated may die of kidney cancer but if they were treated, still one or 2% of people could die of kidney cancer. So we don't really understand that is treating all tumors actually improving all patients' outcomes. If we can potentially sit and watch tumors very closely, there's a potential we can spare a large number, maybe three quarters of patients uh, active treatment. However, there's a lot of anxiety that goes into watching a tumor. How would you leave me, doctor, alone with this tumor growing in my body? Uh, and patients have, you know, it's a lot of counseling and letting them understand that this tumor has been there for a long period of time and it is very safe to closely watch it under medical supervision. Not all patients who start active surveillance should continue active surveillance indefinitely. But as long as it's under the close supervision of a doctor and the doctor feels like it's safe, I would tell you that patients will have probably as good an outcome as going and rushing to surgery at the time of diagnosis, which is for some people helpful, for other people potentially harmful.